Assalamualaikum students. Welcome to second lecture of SST. Today we are going to talk about uh, Mohenjo-daro and the Indus Valley Civilization. We had previously uh, discussed about the, the Indus Valley Civilization and how do these people used to live and um, and uh, the remains of these of the Indus Valley Civilization in the form of uh, these two cities which are present in Pakistan, the Mohenjo-daro and Harappa. And uh, I also showed you uh, a documentary about these two cities. I hope that you have seen that. And I gave you the this question that can you think of any reason why these roads had sharp corners in them? We had discussed that they used to have these narrow streets and with the uh, with the um, Z bends in them. And uh, uh, why do uh, these uh, roads have um, uh, sharp corners in them? So we are going to read about it today. So let's uh, start today's topic. Okay. So for this you have to open page number. Uh, this is page number six of your book. Um, sorry, page number um, page number seventy six of your book. And um, uh, this is um, we are. I already told you that we are going to start off with the history portion first, and then we are going to switch to the geography portion. So the houses were made of mud bricks and often had rooms. On the upper level, which is very unusual indeed in such early buildings. So, as we had previously discussed, that this civilization was the most, um, um, you know, one of the most um, very well uh, civilized state in this. In this, uh, Mohenjo-daro and Harappa were the cities which were the, which were very um, civilized states in the Indus Valley civilization, and they were ahead of their times uh, because um, in the on this, in those times the people not, were not very educated and did not have uh, knowledge about building houses and the uh, they used mud uh, for and for constructing houses. So they uh, these uh, cities they made um, houses with mud and also they made made uh, they had rooms on the upper level like they we have a uh, two story building three story building nowadays. So uh, these were one of the few uh, um, cities which had upper level um, buildings at that point of time, which was very rare. So richer houses had bathrooms with baths made of clay and lined with tar to make them waterproof so uh, at that time also there were um, there was a concept of at, at, as i told you that there was no money system at that point of time there was, there was no bank system at that point of time there was only uh, barter system you know people used to exchange goods not money um, and uh, so at that point of time, there were also um, you know different classes of people, different sects of people. There were rich people, there were um, poor people. So pe the 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 poor, the rich people, they used to have bathroom which uh, with baths. Um, normally people didn't have um, uh, uh, bathrooms at that point of time, and they were made of clay. So they used mud for making all their houses. So they were made of clay and lined with tar to make them waterproof. Um, Tar is this black liquid which is often used in roads now and it is often used in uh, making houses. So it's a very thick sort of a liquid which is, um, you know, which, uh, which, which is uh, used to make different, which is mostly used in roads. So um, uh, they also had a simple toilet. They, ha they also had simple toilets. Uh, these emptied into covered uh, drains which rained down the center to the main street. So just like we had... We nowadays have um, uh, fancy toilets. We have a proper toilet seat, different type of toilet seat. We have showers in our bathroom, bathrooms. We have um, uh, different all the all the kind of uh, access in the bathroom um, which we need. Uh, but at that point of time, they did not have these toilet seats or uh, anything. They just had simple baths made of mud and uh, lined with um, tar, um, and uh, they were very simple. And you know, when we flush down, um, flush the toilet uh, we had a proper we have proper system we have proper pipes we have a gutter system um, and um, at that point of time they used to have the they used to um, they these um, uh, they had they used to have simple toilets and which used to uh, they these emptied into covered drains so uh, which rain down in the center of the main street so at the main street they used to have this um this waste system where all this waste used to get collected um, from the drains okay in the city in the center of the city 
um, was an artificial hill made of mud bricks um, okay first of all let's look at this picture as you can see in this picture this is the great bath at Mohenjo Daro as it is today um, uh, Mohenjo Daro as you can see uh, uh, if you can visit Mohenjo Daro once in your lifetime you should visit and see how in previous time people used to live so this is a picture of that um, it is 12 meters long this is a huge huge bath um, and 7 meters wide uh, it may have been used for religious purposes um, at the okay this is a uh, at the back uh, are the small rooms um, each with a proof uh, of its own these may have been for the priests like these were the big houses they were for the rich people at that point of time maybe they used to uh, use this area for for some religious baths because they used to be uh, followers of different religions and they used to have water and they used to be uh, they used to have uh, baths in them and they attach with them is are smaller baths which you can't really clearly see in this picture but if you um if you go and visit uh, Mohenjo Daro uh, you went you can see all these things at uh, um you can witness all these things by your own eyes so okay in the center of the city was an artificial hill made of mud bricks here were the most important buildings the main one being a huge bath with steps leading to it it may have been part of a temple and part had to uh, and people had to bathe in it b before going in for religious ceremonies um so at um, because uh, people uh, of different religions they, they have different kind of practices so um um we, we can assume that uh, the this may be this this is a greater bath they may have used it to uh, you know to uh, uh, to swim to you know clean themselves to ba be, bathe themselves um so we can just assume that may, they may be having religious ceremonies like that they are the remains of huge hall with many pillars and archaeologists think this may have been some of the parliament or government building so we can't really we, we don't really know about it so we can just assume that they may have they may have used this for for this specific purpose or they may have used this as a bath or they may have used this as a um as some kind of a government building like this is huge this is one of the hugest these were one of the hugest buildings at their point of time so that may have been a government building because um, people used to live in small muddy houses. So, um, no sign of a palace has ever been discovered, and we believe the whole of the Indus Empire was ruled by priests. Uh, so we know we don't know anything for sure, but um, but uh, looking at the re remains of the uh, Mohenjo Daro city and um, Harappa city, we can just uh, presume assume that um, you know this uh, th there was no palace because palaces are huge and um, they're um, they have a lot of uh, they're, they're huge huge places so we don't know these, these were small areas which mostly had baths in them so priests normally use these kind of areas so we can just assume that uh, archaeologists believe that these were used by religious people other cities were built on similar lines to Mohenjo Daro but were smaller so Mohenjo Daro one was one of the most promising cities at that point of time and um, there were other cities as well uh, which were similar to this city um, but they were much smaller than this uh, Mohenjo Daro because Mohenjo Daro was the biggest one. Okay so um, there's this information the more universal term CE is now used in place of AD and BCE so you must have heard this term before BC uh, or when in the previous time when people used to um, mention uh, date they used to say um, uh, AD or um, BC. BC stands for before Christ and AD stands for uh, AD stands for um, um, so uh, BC it is uh, before Christ uh, before the birth of uh, uh, Jesus Christ which is Hazrat Isa al-Islam and the most universal term CE common era is now used in place of AD and BC is used in place of an AD in and BC is used in place of BC. So, uh, if you look at uh, the older books, you will find these terms very common: BC before Christ and AD after death of Hazrat Isa Islam or Prophet or uh, Jesus Christ, as Christians um, say 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 it. Um, so, the mysterious seals of Mohenjo Daro, the clay seals, may have borne the names of the merchants, those um, whose bundles of goods were fastened with their mark.
so there uh, there have been this is uh, an example of a seal with mystery writing so they may have been belong to to people uh, who had a lot of goods and, um, and just like we have stamps nowadays they must have um, we can assume that these these uh, these used to belong to people who were had who were rich and who had bundles of goods uh, with their marks so this is what we are assuming as you can see this picture this is just like a stamp and uh, as we have in previous so as we have in, as we have today this was kind of a seal to you know to show that okay this seal this particular uh, thing belongs to this man so okay um okay um <clears throat> The people of the Indus Valley civilization seem to have been peaceful farmers. They grew barley, wheat, sesame, lentils, and peas. Um, so, but the information that archaeologists have collected, um, we can presume, we can assume that uh, these people, they were one of the sophisticated people of the Indus Valley civilization. Uh, sorry, uh, of um, they were one of the sophisticated people of the times, and uh, they used to be farmers. Uh, they did not kill each other, and they were peaceful farmers because they had grown a lot of barley, wheat, and sesame, lentils, and peas. All the kind of, um, all these kind of um, uh, uh, things that farmers usually grow. How do we know this? Since since the people who left no records of life at the time. Um, tiny fragments of cloth have been found showing that the people knew how to grow cotton and to weave cloth. So, because um, uh, we, whatever archaeologists find, they do not find a written record about it. So, what they do is they um, they kind of assume things. So, because um, because of the findings that they find, so the fragments of the clothes that they have found, um, they because. Uh, because of them, we uh, assume that um, they used to grow cotton and they used to weave clothes. Um, uh, and um, they had almost no metal except gold and a little copper and bronze. And the few metal tools that have been found are not very skillfully made. So because uh, whatever material that has been found, we can assume that uh, um, gold, uh, they, used to, they, they, used, they used to have a good um, hands-on experience on weaving clothes and uh, growing cotton. But uh, uh, the, the metals that were found, they were, they were very few. Uh, and most of it was... Um, um uh, uh, um uh, for was gold and a little copper and bronze and um it was not very skillfully made at that point of time um so wood and stones uh, were used for most things so mostly uh, they used wood mud and stones all these um basic things um for making everything they did not seem they do not seem to have invented money um as i already told you they did not have money system either and we might think uh, we we think that the people were paid by the government in grain and other food so uh, they used to work for the government and um, and uh, whatever they they just uh, they just uh, in 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 um, in, uh, uh, in in uh, favor of uh, in favor of uh, doing favors to the government people used to get food the so people used to uh, they used to grow all these um, uh, all these uh, fruits barley uh, for uh, wheat and sea salmon lentils and peas and the government used to pay uh, them in the form of these um, uh, these things instead of money they used to get all these things they are a very simple kind of writing but no one has yet been able to read it and the word usually appeared on clay seals so um, they had a simple writing and uh, uh, as you can see in this picture this is kind of writing that they had it was very simple and people did not uh, people still now um, archaeologists were not able to figure out what what did they write and what, what did it actually mean so um, they had simple writing as you can see in this picture it is not a very difficult one so uh, people were uh, the archaeologists have not been able to find out what actually this meant so this is all for today um, i hope that you're going to revise this at your home and if you find it intriguing you can find more about this the civilization i want you to research about it as you're at your homes and you have internet access uh, you can or you have any kind of book you can study more about it and um, uh, we have already learned about the, uh, we have already seen a documentary, I'm going to uh, uh, 
post documentary at the end of the chapter about the indus valley civilization with pictures and everything so that you can uh, you can just um, have a have a uh, you know visual um, uh, interpretation of it um, till then you have to revise this at home because if you're not going to revise this at home this is not these are the things that you won't be able to remember so you need to uh, remember all these things at your homes okay so i'm going to see you uh, in the next lecture take care and please please be safe and um, wash your hands and be very very um, kind to others um, till then allah hafiz